Hello students, in this module we are going to discuss about the gear and its class. Hello students, in this module we are going to discuss about the gear and its classification. Myself Manoj Kumar, assistant professor from the Department of Aeronautical Engineering. Gear, what is gear? What can it do? Usually we can see gear in automobile parts, machineries, not only on these things, we can also see that in a tape recorder, child toys, all those things. Okay. Power transmission is the movement of energy from its place of generation to a location where it is applied to performing useful work. A gear is a component within a transmission device that transmits rotational force to another gear or device. Types of gears. First one is according to position of axis of the shaft. Based upon that, it is classified into three types parallel, intersecting, and non intersecting and non parallel. Parallel, first one. In parallel, it is further classified into spur gear, helical gear, and rack and pinion. Intersecting gear is only one type bevel gear and non intersecting and non parallel gear is worm and worm gears. Spur gear. You see the picture means you can be able to understand. When two shafts are parallel to each other, we can use spur gear. Teeth is parallel to axis of the rotation. Transmit power from one shaft to another parallel shaft used in electrical screwdriver, oscillating sprinkler, wind up alarm clock, washing machine and clothes dryer. One main advantage of spur gear is it is easy to design. Okay, And disadvantage is it creates some noise. Helical gear. The teeth on helical gears are cut at an angle to the face of the gear. This gradual engagement makes helical gear operate much more smoothly and quietly than spur gears. One interesting thing about helical gear is that if the angles of the gear teeth are correct, they can be mounted on perpendicular shafts adjusting the rotating angle by 90 degrees. For example, bevel gear. If you see the picture means you can be able to understand that the teeth are in curved manner. So it will produce more contact area. The main advantage of helical gear is due to more contact area it can transfer more load compared to spar gear. And then disadvantage is it will have some axial thrust. Next is hearing bone gear. To avoid the axial thrust, two helical gear of opposite hand can be mounted side by side to cancel resulting the thrust force. If you see the picture means you can be able to understand. Hearing bone gears are mostly used on heavy machinery to carry more and more load. And disadvantage of hearing bone gear is it's complicated to design and it will be costlier. The next is rack and pinion. Okay, you see the picture means the rail like structure is termed as a rack and a pinion is roll over it. Rack and pinion gears are used to convert rotation into linear motion. A perfect example of this is the steering system on many cars. Next is bevel gear. Bevel gears are useful when the direction of the shaft's rotation need to be changed. They are usually mounted on shafts that are 90 degree apart but can be designed to work at other angles as well. 
The teeth on bevel gear can be straight, spiral or high point. Locomotives, marine applications, automobiles, printing press, cooling towers, power plants, steel plants, rail track, inspection machines, etc. uses bevel gear. Okay, and another important example is helicopter rotor where we use bevel gear. You see the picture means you can be able to understand. The first one is straight bevel gear. Okay, for 90 degree purpose. And the next one also bevel gear with spiral teeth. Home gears are used when large gear reductions are needed. It is common for home gear to have reduction of 20 is to 1 and even up to 300 is to 1 or greater. Many worm gears have an intersecting property that no other gear set has. The worm can easily turn the gear but the gear cannot turn the worm. The worm gear are used widely in material handling and transportation machinery machine tools, automobiles, etc. It's the picture of worm gear. Okay. The above thing is worm. Okay. Below that we have the gear. Next is gear train. A gear train is two or more gear working together by meshing their teeth and turning each other in a system to generate power and speed. It reduces speed and increases torque. Electric motors are used with gear system to reduce the speed and increase the torque. Types of gear trains. The first one is simple gear train. Second one compound gear train. And third one is planetary gear train or it is also known as epicyclic gear train. Simple gear train. The most common of the gear train is the gear pair connecting parallel shafts. The teeth of this type can be spur, helical or herring bone. Only one gear may rotate about a single axis. If you see the picture means there we can see four gears okay of different size okay but each gear have same teeth module okay then only they can intersect each other if the first gear rotate means it will rotate the second one similarly second will rotate the third one and the third will rotate the fourth one okay the purpose of this is to transfer speed okay we can either step up or step down Second one is compound gear train. For large velocities, compound arrangement is preferred. Two or more gear may rotate about a single axis. If you see the picture means the first one is a single gear. The gear one rotate the next one is the compound gear where two gears are in the same shaft. Gear two and gear three. The gear one rotates the gear two where it is a compound gear gear 2 and 3 rotates on the same speed and the gear 3 is connected to gear 4 gear 3 will rotate the gear 4 next one is the planetary gear train in this train the blue gear has six times the diameter of the yellow gear the size of the red gear is not important because it is just there to reverse the direction of rotation. In this gear system, the yellow gear is known as sun gear, engages all the three red gears. Those are known as planet gears. All three are attached to a plate and they engage the inside of the blue gear instead of the outside. The blue gear is also termed as internal gear. All other red gear and yellow gear are external gears. If the blue gear rotates, it will rotate the red gear. Red gear will rotate the yellow gear. 
because there are three red gears instead of one. This gear train is extremely rugged. The planet gear set is that they can produce different gear ratio depend on which gear you use as the input, which gear you use as the output and which one you hold still. They have higher gear ratio. They are popular for automatic transmission in automobiles. They are also used in bicycles for controlling power of the pedaling automatically or manually. They are also used for power drain between internal combustion engine and an electrical motor. Thank you students.